I've already put some content on the screen. And of course, this is just Solstice, normal Solstice, no new hardware. And I've got a mobile device that I brought to the meeting. Everyone does that these days. It's in my pocket. And this device I can connect to the screen with. And when I'm connected now, I've augmented the client experience with a share panel that's got all my ability to cast content from this thing, but it also has a little dot now. And when I touch that dot down, that is a laser pointer. So that allows me to point at different things on the screen. Hey, look at this, that's kind of interesting to me. That's also interesting, these might be similar. Okay, when I do that, I've got a laser pointer that's using the gyros built into this device, and it's really accurate, very responsive. Of course, it's not a real laser pointer, because if it was, this diffuser screen would just make it invisible anyway. That solves this problem. Now, if I tap a little drawer here, it opens up the client and lets me move the dot around on the screen permanently so I can see it all the time. And if I tap down now, I can begin to mark up the scene. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple things and then just let you take a look and then we'll talk about what that is. Okay. So what's happening? Well, you'll notice already that the annotations, my markups, are transient. They're not permanent. Because if I said, hey, this is an interesting thing we're talking about here, that's me doing emphasis. Or I think we should talk about getting rid of this graph altogether from the plans. That doesn't mean I want to create a document that has that. That's me working with my colleagues who can, who can then learn about what I'm trying to convey. Okay, so the other thing is I'm using the device that I brought to the meeting. So it can increase engagement because I know how to use this thing. I'm comfortable using it. It's not a specialized one. And it works with any number of users at any time. So I've asked Troy to step into the, the demo here because I want to show you some of the interaction models we might have. So I could point up here and say, hey, uh, you know, imagine an educational scenario where I want to engage a student in the room. Troy. Uh, which of these things do you think is, is going to give us more information at, based on the graphs? And he can now point right away, and if you slide out the drawer, you can even mark it up. So he could do that simultaneously to me. So of course, I could do the same. If I want to open the drawer, I can make markups as well. So that's, that allows us to be more engaged. Now, in the context of higher education, I get really excited because you're talking about kinesthetic learnings where you've got people that are now in view and going, you know, I can, I can do this to learn more, I can engage with the content in new ways. It allows me to have an expectation that any time I can say, why don't you point at what you think is interesting on the screen, which allows the students to feel more engaged in the meeting as well. Okay, so one other thing I want to point out with annotation, you'll have noticed that when I made that circle, I didn't necessarily close the gap, and then Solstice did it for you. The reason we did that is we found when we did the studies for annotation, users are hesitant to use it often because they feel like they have to be artists, they have to be really carefully draw things on the scene. So we're going down a path that will allow us to smooth out those drawings. So if I have a jittery hand or I've got a smooth hand, those things are about equivalent. So that'll be good. And we'll look for us in the future to be doing some other stuff along those lines. It'll be pretty exciting. So that's annotation. Um, I'm excited about it. It's on the way. That's the, not the next release, but later this year.